That is so much gold. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I love, I love gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nick. And I'm Sid. And welcome to our Japanese-inspired Minecraft world. We pride ourselves on creating this cohesive world by building stunning exteriors that perfectly conceal efficient farms and intricate redstone systems. Enjoy as we take you on a behind the scenes tour of some of our most impressive builds to date and give you an inside scoop on the story and motivation behind our incredible projects. Coming in hot, gonna wrap around the right side, land in there. Wandering trader. <laughs> Wandering trader on the roof? <laughs> this villager in the boat, buddy, do something. This build really set the pace not only for our Minecraft world, but for our YouTube channel as well. So why a guardian farm and why Japanese? Well firstly, we've never built a guardian farm before. And secondly, they provide a ton of neat blocks, most of which complement the Japanese building style. Why Japanese? Three reasons. One, I'm part Japanese. Two, I love the sweeping roof lines. And three, building Japanese style in a block based game is challenging. The banners, such a nice touch. This is ravishing. I like how we made it look like so mossy and like huge. Humid. Yeah, it's humid down here. It's not the so heat that'll humid. get you, it's the... Humidity. <laughs> we like to use the very blocks that are gathered from the farm, integrating them into the build itself. To breathe life into this build, we designed this huge water dragon surrounding the walls, adding another touch of defense. Gotta go inside here, see what's going down. Do you go left or right? Um, I go right. Actually, I go left usually. <laughs> See? Oh. <laughs> it smells like fish down here. Ah. Uh, oh shit, I just threw my sword. <laughs> what? Oh no, how do I get that back? Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh, <laughs> this is chaos. What did I do? Are you gonna put the blocks back? Ladies and gentlemen, do not throw your sword. <laughs> Let me just quickly mention that almost every build we will be going through today has a fully detailed video on our page. Coming for you. Gonna beat you there. <laughs> Dale. This is our Japanese pagoda storage room, complete with decorative ponds and advanced storage tech, and I think it turned out amazing. Now, Nick is the kind of person with an unwavering passion for organization. Which is fair given the scale at which we build, so item sorting systems and shulker box unloaders are a necessity. You know what was crazy is I put the bamboo trap doors on the yellow frog lights yeah. and it made it look so cold, like oh. in a bad way. So I had to go and use shroom lights instead to make it more warm. <laughs> oh, I hit shift keys. We use a multi-item sorting system that allows multiple different items to be sorted into a single chest that is fully configurable. To the basement. It's Pearl! There's Pearly Girl! <laughs> Actual Pearl's like, who are you talking to? Who the hell? Carry on with the tour. What says? What are those? Um, they're two big eyes. <laughs> Do you have any good ideas of what we should put up here? Let us know in the comments below. Now, stepping out of our storage room, you take a glance upon the horizon and see the huge custom islands that we created and call the Iron Islands. I love these islands. I love the archway over here. I'm gonna fly through it. Now, tons of you have been asking for schematics of our builds and world downloads, and it is finally time we make that available for everyone. Oh, oh it does work when you have it on Zoom and look at them. So we are kicking off our channel member thing. Now we have two tiers of memberships to offer. The first one offers schematic downloads of the select builds. He fell in the water, now I don't know where he is. Oh, he's over there still. I'll shoot him with my arrow. He's like stuck. The second tier gets a monthly world download of our survival world and any future worlds. Enderman like, screw. Oh, here he is. Oh. Ow. We are so excited to be able to offer you some of our content in this way, and we look forward to any support you're able to offer us. Sam Samsung uh, camera commercials would be like. To enhance the overall appearance, we included various custom bonsai style trees, vines, and bushes to really give these manufactured islands a natural look. Now once we built these islands over the iron farm, we had to take advantage of the extra space. So we decided to build some extremely efficient tree farms to make sure we never have to chop another tree down again. Oh my gosh, you know I've never been inside of here? Never been in here. You've never run it, have you? No. So check it out, check it out. You can do the five different wood types here. 
Yeah. You basically just hit the note block. So now it's switched over to oak. Oh my gosh. And then you can turn it on here. This basically starts a cobblestone generator. Wow. Stand down here and look at the dirt block and place saplings. Repeatedly? Yeah. <gasps> as fast oh my God, as you I feel can. Like I'm, I'm gonna get exploded. Oh my God, this is dangerous. As the trend continues, you'll find a custom pagoda that features all of the different wood types gathered from the farm inside. We then wanted to really bring this build to life with a bone meal dragon wrapping around the pagoda to signify the fuel needed to run these farms. Admiring our world. Oh, this is a cool view. Yeah, it is. Smile for the camera. <laughs> Given that this was Nick's very first pagoda that started our entire Japanese area, you can think of it as the first propagule that started the now vast forest. Our first pagoda that we built. Isn't it ravishing? So much stripped mangrove. We needed the farm just to do the build. I haven't turned it on in a long time. I wonder if it still works. You run away as soon as you turn it on? <laughs> I hope it still works. I haven't tried it since we updated our world in 1.2. Wait, that wasn't the on switch for it. <laughs> that was for the <laughs> propagule shoot. I was like, yeah, it's not working. That's working. That's working. That's working. Excellent. It's working. Pagoda perfectly placed not to blow up anything. Mangrove is by far the most annoying tree to farm, so we couldn't have built this farm soon enough. Oh, we can go up for On the about inside this. or the outside? Yeah, got to go on the outside. I built like a room up here. I love it up here. Look at the views. Wow. This is like where the king lives. The king samurai. Now it's gold farm time. Here it is. It's Climb, huge. climb, climb. Well, it's at, it's at build height. I built it as high as I could. It's so cool. I love this build. That is so much gold. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh. I love, I love gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> you are the new gold member. It looks so cool. <laughs> On the inside, yeah. If you don't have Elytra, you're not coming to this farm. Yeah, oh, oh look, a uh, bunch of XP. Bunch of XP, sure. give, me, give me that. <laughs> Stunning. And the throne for the lucky oh. winner of our challenge, which still no one has gotten like a month in, which I'm so surprised. Perfect, perfect. That's a big throne for you. It's like the best way to illuminate gold is with the yellow frog lights. Agreed. It pairs so perfectly. And I wanted to give it some life on the inside with some Zaley trees. Yeah, it looks good. It's fun to fly around in here. Oh, it takes more than one rocket to get all the way to the top. I know, I just did that. It's like, <laughs> oh, okay. It takes more than Send two. Another. I didn't even reach the top. I want to do another big build. I just don't know what yet. Need, we need ideas in the comments below, I think. Now it's time to get into the guts of this build and head over to the nether side, where I've spent way too much time. All right. Here it is. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, wow. She's bright. I know. Like burns your retinas when you come in here. Fly up to the where the, all the chests and the item sorters are. Are you here? Oh, you are. Are you with us? So th these are shulker box loaders. Six times speed. These two collect golden nuggets. This one collects golden ingots and everything else gets burned. Yeah, this farm's nuts, eh? Yeah. Truly nuts. I used to think you were crazy. But now I can see you're... <laughs> nuts. Oh, 
<laughs> Want to see the bartering farm and froglate farms? I don't think you've seen those either. Sure. Now I haven't decorated any farms in the nether, so I don't want to hear anything about how they look, okay? Uh -huh. So you put all the gold you want to trade in this chest up here, and then yeah. all you do is you turn it on, gold gets spit out to them, they inspect yeah. it, they drop their items. Oh my gosh. And they it gets spit to the item sorters. Most of it gets burned. And then this is all the collection for the items. Blackstone, crying obsidian, obsidian, nether brick, Gosh. quartz, quartz, soul sand, gravel. Quartz? We have a leather. way to get quartz now? Oh yeah. Wow. Check it out. How did you get those guys up here? Yeah, that took a long time. I had to lure them all, build a spawning platform and lure them all over here and get them <laughs> to chase me till they fell down. Almost oh dying a bunch. Ready for the frog light farm? Yeah. This way. So if we stand here, then you can go on F4 and look down. Magma cubes spawn on the spawning platforms. Yeah. Get attracted to the iron golems. The iron golems kill them to their little cubes. And then the frogs eat them. Oh. So there's not a whole bunch of frogs, are there? Four of each color. So 12 frogs in total. See how there's little magma cubes now? And then the frogs will go eat them. Look. Oh, I see them in frogs there. Frogs eat them, and then they drop the frog light, and the minecarts uh -huh. pick up the frog lights, and they go into the chests down below. Oh my god. All right, back to the overworld. Home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you did with the lamps here. Looks so cool. At night, Yeah, it looks especially. nice at night, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. This is not a pit of doom. It's actually a completely unnecessary and over-the-top slime farm that produces more slime than we will ever need. Come on, slime balls. We're waiting. Boop. 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 Cool, eh? Hidden item collection. Oh, we have, like, we're full. We're full, full. Big pit with the Japanese writing. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost fell in there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Throws rockets in the gong. Yeah, I love these custom cherry trees. Stunning. I know, I love them too. Stunning. This is our Japanese armory, which might be obvious with the giant samurai sword sitting atop this structure. This build is used to store the all new 1.20 armor trims and collecting them required us to travel to every corner of our world and most notably several ancient cities. Inside, you will find 16 different detailed sections that use the colors and decoration to match the scattered locations where each armor trim is found. I love this little archway you put out here too. Mm-hmm. I like it too. Now we have an entire Egyptian area that we will quickly fly through. But for a more in-depth walkthrough, be sure to check out our previous 1000 Days World Tour. Okay, that is all we had in store for you today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the full video of some of your favorite builds from this video.